Yo, what's up guys? What is going on everybody over on the Simply Viral channel? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Today we are jumping back into the world of Fortnite to discuss some more Fortnite Season 7 news, leaks, rumors, and information. We are nearing the halfway point here of Season 6 in Fortnite Battle Royale, so any day now we are going to start getting the official Season 7 rumors and leaks coming from the actual in-game files and some teases from Epic Games themselves. But for the time being, we can definitely speculate and talk about some rumors and some other information that's been floating around in the Fortnite community. But before we go ahead and get into that, if you guys are brand new here to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe with your channel notifications turned on. That way, you never miss another upload. By turning on your channel notifications, YouTube will send you a message every time we go live with a new video in the future, so you can be the first person to watch, like, and comment on each and every new video. Also, while you guys are at it, be sure to comment down below saying hashtag notification squad or I subscribed for your chance to be featured in our video shout out where you guys get your name and comment on screen for everyone else watching to see. And last but not least, if you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, be sure to let us know by giving this video a big old thumbs up, slap that like button, it would be much appreciated. Now without further ado, let's go ahead, let's jump in and let's talk about some Fortnite Season 7 news, leaks, and rumors. For starters, if you guys didn't know, Season 7 looks to be starting around the first half of December 2018. According to the Season 6 Battle Pass, Season 6 will be wrapping up around December 5th or December 12th, which are each Wednesdays, meaning that Season 7 of Fortnite is going to be starting either on December 6th or December 13th. Both of those days, of course, are Thursdays, which is typically the day when seasons go live. And speaking of December and the holiday time, we do have some pretty infamous skins that were debuted last year around the December and holiday season. Those of course being the skins like Merry Marauder, Ginger Gunner, and of course the Crack Shot. Well, if you guys can tell, they're probably going to be coming back this winter as well, seeing as we just got the return of the Skull Trooper with a couple of different variants here in uh, Fortnite for Season 6 and the upcoming Halloween Festival event. So it would make sense to see the seasonal holiday skins come back as well during the winter. If we're going to get one set, might as well get them all right. So I would expect to see the Crack Shot, Merry Marauder, Ginger Gunner, and the rest of the holiday crew skins in the item shop near the launch of Season 7 and for the first couple of weeks as well while we're still in that holiday season time span. Moving on, we actually got the first ever interactive item just the other day in Fortnite Battle Royale. And I definitely think that in Season 7, in the future, we can see some more interactive weapons and items come to the game. And what do I mean when I'm saying interactive item? Well, if you guys didn't know, our very first interactive item was just released the other day alongside the Skull Trooper skins. If you guys did not know, the back bling for the Skull Trooper, aka the Ghost Portal back bling, actually changes as your game progresses. As you get more kills, different things actually happen with the Ghost Portal back bling. As you hit four kills in a match, the Ghost Portal actually starts to radiate some sort of blue misty trail out of the actual portal itself. As you progress even further and get five kills in a match, little tiny ghost entities begin to actually float in and out of the back of the portal as well. Now, now, no one actually has gotten a ton of kills in a match, so maybe something crazy happens if you get 15 kills in a game, or maybe even 20 kills in a game, but nevertheless, this is a start of something here in Fortnite, that being interactive items that sort of progress as the game progresses as well. So, I would definitely expect to see something in the future that coincides with the Ghost Portal back bling here that you can see evolve over the course of a match, whether it actually be a gun, a pickaxe, a skin, who knows, but I definitely could see this coming in in the future. Alongside that, I think that we can start to get some interactive weapons as well. Of course, right now we do have a pretty wide variety of weapons in Fortnite Battle Royale, but we don't really have any weapons that can directly affect the in-game map besides things like grenade launchers, RPGs, or grenades that can just blow stuff up. I think it would be cool to see things that can actually leave a mark on the map, whether it be like some sort of ice gun where you can actually freeze different parts of the map and create some sort of slippery surface. Say you're running through the middle of Tilted Towers and you shoot a nice little ice beam trail right down one of these center roads, and then if anybody were to walk on it, they start to slip and slide and go all over the place like you sort of do when you have the chiller trap effect on your feet. I think it'd be really cool to see these things happen to the map from weapons rather than, you know, in-game events or things like that. Because 
because every match would be different then. If you had the chance to go into a match, a fresh start, and pick up an ice beam gun that allows you to freeze different parts of the game, you're never going to freeze the same two parts in, in two games unless you know it's an effective strategy. Same thing if you're in like the final circle with three or four other people and you know exactly where they're going to push from, you can freeze that area and stop them from trying to use that as a vantage point. You know, I feel like this could really alter the pace of the gameplay and really make each individual match very, very unique. Now, as we keep this idea train rolling, you guys have heard us talk about in the previous Season 7 videos about the idea of a Winter Wonderland theme for Season 7 where the entire map is covered in snow or we get a new snow area or something like that. Well, this idea actually seems even more possible right now due to a recent announcement that we got for a new bundle coming to the game. The Deep Freeze bundle is actually a brand new bundle coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. However, it's actually releasing in November prior to Season 7 coming out. So, you might be asking, well, what does this bundle that's coming out in Season 6 have to do with Season 7? Well, all we really gotta do here is focus on the name. It is called the Deep Freeze freeze bundle which I feel like is somewhat hinting towards the fact that we could have some sort of deep freeze event here in Fortnite where we do get a complete map makeover or we get a new area on the map that is actually covered in snow whether it's an area like Paradise Palms where we have a massive desert area but now it's a snow area or maybe we get a new POI that's like a ski resort or something I feel like a deep freeze bundle is sort of hinting at the fact that we could have a uh, snow feature coming to the map at some point here in it season 7 and if that were to happen we do actually get a snow area on the map or maybe a winter wonderland map in general I could definitely expect to see some brand new vehicles come to the game as well if you guys haven't heard we actually just got our third vehicle leaked just the other day it is called the quad crasher and it's actually a little ATV and I think it'd be cool if maybe we could get that thing redone up for a snow event or a winter wonderland map maybe we have it as a snowmobile or a snow plow you could also have things like different sleds and snowboards and skis if there's a snow area on the map sort of like how the shopping cart can help you move around it's not super effective but it's fun to do I think sleds and skis and snowboards could do the same thing there you could land on top of like the tricky mountain where all these shopping carts spawn now but had there be sleds and skis instead and you can go off all the jumps and do all sorts of crazy stunts and flips and whatnot with uh, some winter themed items rather than what we have now also let's be honest it'd be so much more fun to go throughout a winter map on some sleds and some skis rather than in a shopping cart or an ATK. And now we'll move on to our final Season 7 tidbit for this video, and it is definitely the biggest theory we've had yet, and it has something to do with a snake. Honestly, I'm not sure how big this event could be or how big of an impact this could have on Season 7, but it seems like some sort of snake creature is coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, and there is a ton of in-game information pointing to this theory happening. The first one has to do with the Season 6 Battle Pass. There's actually three separate tiers that have a snake theme going on. For starters, at tier 30, there's actually a spray that you unlock of a manhole, and underneath the manhole, you can actually see two glowing purple snake eyes. Then at tier 32, you get another spray that is of some dice, and the roll that these dice have actually stopped on is the snake eyes roll. So there's two different snake eyes themes going on within three different tiers there. Then at tier 68, you unlock the Slytherin snake dance emote, so there's three different snake themed things going on in the season six battle pass then it's also been found that throughout seasons four through six there have been other indirect snake icons teased in the game most of them are actual in-game icons of snakes themselves there's a cobra head going as one icon so there's a lot of different snake symbolism going on here in fortnite that actually started back like i said in season four we saw some in season five and now we've got quite a few here in season six so what could be happening with this snake theme? Honestly, we don't really know, other than the fact that it is a massive tease in game right now. Perhaps a giant snake is going to come out of the hole out of Loot Lake or something like that. We're just not too sure, but as we approach Season 7 and as the date for the launch comes nearer and nearer, we're going to get more theories, more ideas, and more leaks about what exactly is going on here, and we'll be sure to keep you guys updated, so make sure you are subscribed with your channel notifications turned on. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up, slap that like button, it would be much appreciated. And with that, that is going to conclude this video. Thank you guys once again so much for tuning in. Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Peace out.